Welcome to X Dynamo. In this video, we will discuss about the calculation of stress and deflection in beams. You may be wondering what's special in it. In this video, we will go through both theoretical and computational methods to calculate the stress and deflection in a beam. At the end of the video, both the results are compared to find out the accuracy of computational method. Here is the problem statement. Let us consider a beam of following details. Find the stress and deflection in both, theoretical and computational way and, find out the error in computational method. The cantilever beam of span 1000 mm, is subjected to point load of 2000 newtons at free end. Beam is made up of steel with, square cross section of 50 mm side. For theoretical calculations, we can apply the bending equation. The bending equation is derived, based on the assumption of pure bending. The theoretical values of maximum stress induced deflection and stress distribution can be calculated using bending equation. For computational results, we can use ANSYS. Structural analysis. With the help of ANSYS, you will be able to set up a load case for any component or model, simulate them and obtain its deformation, fatigue life, the factor of safety and places of stress and density. First we will go through the theoretical calculations. Let us find out the maximum stress at fixed end of cantilever beam using bending equation. The maximum bending moment is equal to, product of point load and span, which is equal to, 2000 newtons by 1000 millimeters, equals to 2 into 10 power 6, newton m. m. Moment of inertia of given square cross section is, 50 power 4 divided by 12, m. m power 4. Using bending equation, the maximum stress is equal to m, y, by i. On substituting values of m, y, and I, the maximum stress is obtained as, 96 megapascals. Now calculate the maximum deflection. In cantilever beams, the maximum deflection occurs at free end, is equal to W, L cubed by 3, E, I for mild steel material with Young's modulus of 210 gigapascals. The maximum deflection at free end is equal to, 2000 into 1000 cube divided by, 3 into 210 into 10 cube, multiplied by 50 power 4 by 12. The maximum deflection is obtained as, 6.095 mm. Here is the results we get from theoretical calculations. The magnitude of maximum stress is obtained as, 96 megapascals, whereas the maximum deflection at free end is equal to, 6.095 mm. Let us compare these values with FEM results. Let us find out the maximum stress and deflection of beam, using computational method, finite element method, Finite element analysis has a lot of applications in engineering analysis, that includes both static and fatigue analysis of components under loading. The finite element method is a widely used method for, numerically solving differential equations arising in engineering and mathematical modeling. Typical problem areas of interest include, the traditional fields of structural analysis, heat transfer, fluid flow, mass transport, open ANSYS workbench and create new project. Go to static structural analysis. Select the geometry and open design modeler to create the beam. Select Ziplane and change the units to millimeters. Draw a rectangle at origin, and provide the dimensions as 50 mm by 50 mm as shown. This rectangle will be the cross-section of the beam. Now go to modeling and extrude the rectangle in z-direction for a length of 1000 mm. The 3D model is ready for analysis. Exit the design modeler, 
and click on model to load the geometry for meshing. Click on Mesh option and select Sizing. Dot select the top edge of cross section and make two divisions along the edge. Repeat the same for the other edge on the cross section. Now select the edge along the beam, and make 20 divisions along the length of beam. It's time to generate the mesh. The beam is discretized into 80 elements. Click on Static Structural to apply the boundary conditions and loading. Insert fixed support at one end to create a cantilever beam. Then insert a point load of magnitude of 2000 newtons at free end, in downward direction. Go to Solution and insert. Total Deformation and Von Mises Stress ANSYS solve the model to evaluate these results in the solution. Now solve the model and wait till the solution converges. Let us check the results. The total deformation shows a maximum value of 6.381 mm at free end. The equivalent stress shows a maximum value of 97.2 MPa at fixed end. Observe the stress distribution on cross section, the maximum stress occurs at outermost fibers. Here is the results we obtained from both the methods. It's time to compare both theoretical and computational results. The maximum stress is calculated as 96 MPa whereas, the ANSYS structural analysis shows the maximum stress as 97.2 MPa, with an error of 1.25%. The maximum deflection calculated using the formula is 6.09 mm, whereas the FEM analysis gives a maximum deflection of 6.38 mm with an error of 4.69%. FEM results from ANSYS are very close to the theoretical values. The errors in stress and deflection is less than 5%. Here is the final conclusion from the results. The computational results matches with the theoretical calculations with negligible error. The accuracy of the computational results is largely influenced by the geometry, mesh quality and solver settings. The error in this case is minimum, as it is very simple loading case, it is always advisable to perform theoretical calculations before the simulation in ANSYS. The meshing and solver setting are to be modified to minimize the error. That's all for this video. We'll see you in our next video. If you get value from this video, 
Please like this video and subscribe to our channel.